What's up guys? Josh here along with Andy. Hey everybody. Back for another top eight match. We got Planet Walls against Calavera. Yeah, this should be a, another good match here. We've got the birthing pod chops at Planet Walls is taking the the tournament by storm with against Calavera's Merfolk. And I would have to give an edge to Planet Walls on this one at first glance. What do you think, Josh? Um, yeah, it's really tough to know. I mean, you look at Planet Walls' deck and you don't assume it's going to win. <laughs> but he could do something like getting Elish Norn out and just wreck Calavera, so... Yeah, he's got uh, interesting tools in his deck. Um, you know, I've played Planet Walls a couple times, and by my, by the way I look at things with his deck, I think the key is being able to take away that birthing pod from him. And Calavera certainly has the tools in the stack to do that. Yeah, I think he definitely needs to counter birthing pod. For sure. And Calavera also has a good land suite of uh, wastelands and strip mines, so he, he could disrupt Calavera's or uh, Planet Wall's fragile land base. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Also, uh, Aethervile is very good for Calavera in this match because it does get over spears. From what I've seen, Planet Walls actually does quite a lot of damage to himself. Mm -hmm. So that could work into Calavera's favor. So Planet Walls was on the draw here. And could we... He's got a Mistress Workshop. With a Mox Opal. Could, could, okay. I was going to say, could we be seeing a birthing pod here? Now, where this would be very awkward is if Calavera came out with the wasteland here. Yep. Yeah, that's certainly not the uh, card I'm scared of seeing turn one with Workshop as a mere retriever. Oh, definitely not. And there is a so wasteland. So did Planet Walls cheat? And it looks like he did. He's got no other lands. He's just sitting with no land. So the tide has shifted here in a big way. Now, granted, Calavera uses ugly wastelands, so maybe he was hoping they wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We've got a second Merv Retriever here. The army is assembled. So Cal has got two islands out. And that is a pretty good card to see. He's got the Master of the Trident Pearl. The Master of the Pearl. Is that what it's called? Pearl Trident. Well, that's not something that Calavera wants to see, so maybe he's got a counter? I suspect he will counter this. Days would be good for him. I mean, if you're not familiar with Planet Wall's deck, uh, he might let that resolve. Not thinking it's a threat, but... I would just give the edge to Planet Walls if this birthing plot resolves. Yeah, that's it's the oh. linchpin of his deck, I think. Definitely. That was a nice play there. That was a good daze by Calavera. Daze is so good. The daze is so good. I agree. I played it in the league this time, and it did not disappoint me. All right, we've got a Mutavolt down. So the keys to last turn here. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want to give back the birthing pod. Oh, but there's another one, I think. Yep. Hmm. The days would be good here. So we have someone inquiring in the game here. 
Saw them no talking in the match there, Josh. So we have the resolution of a birthing pod here. And Calavera gets himself down another Lord, Lord of Atlantis, and he's now beating down with a 3 3. is blocked with his murder retriever returning his birthing pod to his hand. Yeah, getting two birthing pods going is... It's insignificant, I, I would think. Well, I mean, ticking up two a turn is pretty nice for him. Calavera may have him dead if he does around too much. Yeah. Yep, this is a little late, maybe. Facing down, uh, considering Muta Vaults, even a 4 4. 10 damage here this turn. But the Muta Vaults activated. I see Dennis the Menace has joined our audience. Uh, yes. So I'm not sure Planet Walls would dig for here. Maybe a Junk Retriever? That's not. Yeah, um. So Planet Walls has a Tough decision here. He's facing down big beats and uh, needs to make the right play to get out of this one. Mm -hmm. Can this be a lodestone? Another Birkin pod, okay. So he can tick his mirror retriever up two places. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of damage doing it. Yeah, which is quite dangerous, actually. You see, I think what Planet Walls has to be careful of against Calavera's deck is that Calavera actually runs main deck Gilded Drapes. And so if he ramps himself up and he gets himself a big creature, Calavera just steal that. Yeah. And doing math against Calavera's deck is pretty hard because you never know how many lords he's going to drop and all of a sudden his team is twice as big. Mm hmm Summoner's up. That is an interesting card. I'd say. Question is, what creature? Maybe a Zealous Conscripts would be pretty good for him. Yeah, I don't think it'll win him the game, though. Probably not. Something Looks like he's just got a pack of a magic card. Your guess is as good as ours, folks. So he, he did go the beatdown plan here. He's not going to ca cast anything by the looks of it. Uh, duplicate. Okay. Interesting. It's pretty good. has decided to take a lord. Leaving himself with a 2-2. Two, two. And he can ramp up to 7. K 
killing the master of the Pearl Trident with Elish Norn. Yeah, this is not looking good for Calavera. Planet Walls can't really attack here because he cannot let his duplicate die. Mutavolt's pretty good. Yeah, but they'll still die, assuming there's not another lord, but, you know. There's probably another lord somewhere in there. So, his worst nightmare came true. He's got, him, got himself facing down a Elish Norn. Not good. That has vigilance. And Walls is low on life, but he can sack me a retriever and get back a duplicate and Yeah, this is over. Do all kinds of nonsense. He's still in a tough spot, but I mean the Gilded Drake would be good for him. Yes, Gilded Drake's good for everyone. Oh Mirror Retriever's a three three, I forgot about that. <laughs> It's a pretty nice mirror retriever. Mm-hmm. Well, this be over from very quickly. If Caliber doesn't answer it right here. He's got another mirror retriever, doesn't he? Might as well get that out there too. Gilded Drake, that's what Planet Walls is asking about. That would be pretty good if he... There she blows. And there it is, Gilded Drake. Wow. That's a nice piece of attack from Calavera, having that Gilded Drake main deck. So, he can fetch up his duplicate still. To get rid of that Elish Norn. And leave himself with a 3 3 Gilded Drake to attack with. Kala's probably going to attack with that. Well, that's a 1 1 Gilded Drake right now, Josh. Yeah, I know. I mean. With the, you mean with the duplicate? Yep. Yeah. Once, once he gets the duplicate on the Elish Norn. Then it'll be then it'll be a three three again. Unfortunately, he's going to have to take some huge beats right here out of a Yeah, Vault. Yeah, jeez, four damage. four. And Talavera still has four cards in hand. Who's to say that he doesn't have a force of will? Yeah, he could easily have a force still. Or even a daze. I mean, right now, he, Planet Wall can't has, tap that uh, ancient tomb. Yeah, he can't tap the tomb if he doesn't block with the Drake. So, I think this would be a good block for him. Uh, I kind of think he needs to block it. Yeah, gives him a lot more options with his birthing pods and everything if he. Blocks here and stays at six. Mm. This is actually a pretty tight match. I was almost sure it was over when he when Planet Walls got down the Elish Norn. There was only one card that could have got Calavera out of that, and that was this one Gilded Drake he has main. 
Does he just have one main? Sometimes he runs two. I believe he, in this tournament he's actually running one main, and he has one on the sideboard. Okay. I, I played against Calavera in the league, and uh, that's how I recall his deck. Well, it's certainly a good card. Yeah, it's not a piece of tech you see too often in Merfolk, or any deck for that matter. I know people have run it at the board against Oath. And as we see, there are three Oath decks in the top eight, so I guess you better be prepared for Oath. Ooh. That's pretty good. That is actually really good. Now it puts Planet Walls in an awkward situation, makes him very vulnerable to days. Yeah. And he doesn't actually I, I, have I, much mana. I think he's just dead here. He has to be able to put out at least two creatures. So he's using the tomb. Summoner's Egg. What could he have? Well, we'll never know. This game. Even if he, that Summoner's Egg had a landed, though, Calavera was still beating down for 8-12. Looks like that one's over. We'll go on to game two. Yeah, that was a really good game. Well played, uh, both guys, but particularly Calavera with that. Big swings in there. With the Drake, yeah. That was excellent. All right, we're back for game two here. Yeah, it is one to nothing for Calavera. And that puts Planet Walls on the play. Yeah, that, that was a really good first game. I did yeah. not anticipate Calavera was going to be able to pull that out after we saw the Yellow Storm result. No, it's rare to see. Especially against a deck relying on. Two two creatures. Truth be told, I don't think I've ever seen it where someone's been able to beat a resolved Elish Norm. Quite often, just wipes the board out on your opponent. So Planet Walls has led with an ancient tomb and a Mox Oval. A fake Mox. Yeah. I remember the excitement I felt when I found out about Mox Opal, thinking it had so much potential, but it's actually a card that's not really played. Yep. Affinity plays it. I've got a foil one that just sits around gathering dust. Yeah. I hear you there. Graph Digger's okay. Cage. No, does that stop Birthing Pod, Josh? I, I believe it does, searching your library, right? For Um, I think so. <laughs> I, I believe it does stop yeah, Birthing Pod. Yeah, I think so, too. It's not an interaction I've ever seen before, because, of course, they don't, they don't see Birthing Pod in Classic. It doesn't stop, like, the Mirror Retrievers from getting the cards, because they don't enter the battlefield from the graveyard or anything. So that part of his game is still intact. I think Planet Walls has a different game plan in this game. He is showing us the aggro side of his deck. Apparently he's playing Affinity. Yeah, double... Double Frogmite. That is pretty good and it's going to be hard for Calavera to beat that. Well, yeah, that's a land. Pretty powerful strip mine there. This is a birthing pod we're gonna see here. Or is he just attaching the clamp? Equipping the clamp, yep, You're just equipping the clamp. Well, he's got a three turn clock. He's got a wasteland here, it's gonna go a long way to getting him there. Well, 
almost like time walking himself, though. Caliber or place a wasteland is that much further away from playing a creature. No, I'm in planet walls. Oh, planet walls, okay. Oh, that's pretty good for him, an ether bio. Yep, that'll help his mana troubles, although to wait two turns to get your lords going is going to be a problem here, taking five a turn. Yeah, this is definitely not going well for him. And that skull clamp is definitely problematic because Planet Walls is just going to have a large amount of card draw here. I, I would say that Calibre is in a little bit of trouble here. What would be good for Calibre here is if he was able to draw an island and cast his Hercules Recall. Yeah. That would, that would set Planet Walls back significantly. Enough for him to be able to get out a couple lords before he can reestablish his power. Planet Walls, that is. Yep. That would change things considerably. So he can equip the skull clamp to the mirror retriever here. Mm hmm Since it doesn't really change his clock at all to have it out there. No, he can't return anything back. No. Yeah, he loses value on it, but two cards is No, he can't get anything back anyways, can he? Or I guess that will work. Yeah, it can return to your hand. Just like you can play lands out of your graveyard. So, well, Walls is thinking long and hard about this. Oh, we're going to see the, yeah, the Savage Titan. Salvage. That is a scary card. And he gets to use... The creatures are already in the graveyard, so the trigger for the Mirror Retriever works, and he gets the two cards, and can just replay his Frogmite. Excellent. Oh, that is no. a card I have never seen played in Classical before, Salvage type. He actually got the Skull Clamp, which... I'd probably the right play. Maybe? Skull clamp just has. Well, if this thing gets countered, so though, much it, gas. it could give Calavera a good chance to get back in the game here. If we see a force, nope. No force. We're going to camp days either. Calavera needs an island and a hurdle. Maybe that would be pretty good for him. He can jump with a curse catcher. Yeah. Which is pretty much his only chance in this match he needs to do right now. I think this one's over, Josh. You're calling it? I'm calling it. All right. Well, he's facing down eight damage right here. Well. I mean, it's not like Planet Walls doesn't have five cards in his hand. <laughs> True. If I saw a wasteland come down out of Planet Walls right this moment, I would call it for sure. Oh, well, I'm saying it's a for sure thing, Josh. Okay. Well, well it he, is. he chumps with a curse catcher and Hercules recalls and goes to town. You'll be singing a different tune. I would uh, be mightily impressed. Calvera impressed me last game. Let's see if he could do it twice.
Green Monolith. Hmm. Could we be seeing a lodestone column here, Josh? We could. And we are. I would say that's going to get a GG. That card is good. Oh, there's the force. Force of will pitching what? Master of the Pearl Trident. His best lord. Maybe. Probably his best lord. Definitely. He had no choice there. Question is, can he get into the land here and use his beautiful ones as well? Coral Helm has higher upside, but it takes a lot of mana to get it there. Indeed. He's jumping again. Yep. Unless he's got a gilded tree. Oh, yeah, that's true. That should... Planet Walls is taking himself a fair amount of damage this game off of his ancient tomb. So stealing a salvage titan could be quite strong for Calavera here. Oh. Bless you. Pardon me. Okay. It is a Drake. A gilded and Drake. He's stealing himself a salvage titan. That's pretty good to me, Josh. Maybe. Ms. Calavera can't really attack. <laughs> so, when the wall's placed on a city of traders, now it has four active mana. Another lodestone. Birthing pod. Okay, junk diver. Well, he's got four power worth of flying. That is not terrible. No. That junk diver turns into a lodestone golem. He yep. blocks. He can chump with a frog might for a turn and hit for four and have him near lethal here. And Calavera get a land. Does he need one? He needs one. I think he needs one. So he activates his core realm and he's put it up. He's gonna make a flyer next turn. Pretty good. He's getting your lethal order. Yep, he'll be forced to trade it with the Gilded Drake. But if he's got a lord, he can actually drop the lord, and his coral helm will be a 4 4. That would be pretty nifty. Uh, smart play putting it on that. 
Could have moved the skull clamp over to the Gilded Drake. Yep. And he's going to be down for five here. Oh my goodness. So now, even with a Lord, he's just trading with Gilded Drake, so <laughs> Junk Diver could actually be the one to make the kill. That's a painful way to die, if you ask me, to <laughs> lose to a Junk Diver. Three mana, one one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think. Calavera needs to draw an island here. And hope to God that he's got a Hercules recall in his hand. So <laughs> That's his only out. So many artifact birds. That is Calavera's chance. Island. Yep, that's game. Cal, Cal is trying to get him a hit here. Hoping that he's the junk diver. Two more cards for Planet Walls. Yeah. I guess he could have a Gilded Drake here, another Drake in his hand, and yep. during combat he could take the Gilded Drake, substitute it for another Drake, that would work. Yeah. In fact, that Planet Wallace has five cards in his hand, not to be overlooked either. Hex Parasite. Removing counters from Coral Helm Commander. <laughs> that is sweet. Or also from Aether Vial. Alright, so we've got a Hex Parasite that can remove counters from both Aether Vial and Aether Vial. Wow. So he forces his hand on the Aether Vial. Pretty sweet. And did Calavera have nothing? Yes, more. He tapped the Aether Vial, but... That's game. Alright. Nicely played by Planet Walls there. Yeah, Hex Parasite's a card we don't see ever in Classic, and it's got so many applications. I mean, particularly against something like Jace the Mind Sculptor or Tezzeret, or you can take off tokens off, as we just saw there, off Coral Helm Commander or off Aether Bile. It's pretty good. All right, let's see how this one shakes up in Game 3. All right, we're back for the penultimate game, Game 3. Of the top eight, Planet Walls, Calavera, who will win? Cal is on the play. I'm going to give him a slight edge in this one, Josh. He's taking Planet Walls at the beginning, but something just tells me. What do you think? I think Calavera will pull it off. He has an Aether Vial turn one. It makes my decision easy. Just so the viewers know, once again, we are not biased towards Clan Magic tournament players. That's oh my gosh, and you see the Phyrexian <laughs> Revoker. <laughs> go, Calavera, go! <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good play. <laughs> he was <laughs> hoping that he wouldn't be able to find the right card. So we see Master of the Pearl Tridents here, which is pretty good. Looks like Calavera's got 
two lands that his deck needs to function. Question is, who's willing to trade their guy away here? Well, uh, Calavera wouldn't trade away his his master. I don't think. I, I guess it uh, really depends how important his aether vial is. But I suspect with his two lands, he's just going to be able to. You are correct. He does not trade. Yeah. Also, if uh, if it was a silver walls doesn't. I beg your pardon, if Planet Walls doesn't have another land here, that ancient tomb is going to lay a beating on him. Double Aether Vial probably will be chosen. Yes. I guess he could choose the, the commander. Yeah, I think it makes more sense just to choose Aether Vial again. Definitely. Beds. Uh, Calavera is already committed to his game plan with that Aether Vial. I don't think he's too worried about it. He just needs to build up lords and revokers become insignificant. Oh, he did name Crowhelm Commander. Yep. The Green Monolith. Yep. Burning Pod? Burning Pod would be good. I like that card. Yeah, it's Interesting. I've liked it since paper. So I suspect we're going to see another lord out of Calavera here. And Mutavolt's very good here as well. Hmm. No play. Interesting. That's not good. Maybe he's baiting him? What could he possibly be baiting him with? Maybe a Hercules recall? Well, the Mutavolt he can block with, and it's a 3 3. Yeah, I think he's got a Hercules recall in his hand, and it, he's going to, on the stack, well, I guess that doesn't work. Because his Bile will go back to his hand. That's what he does. He's got to have a purple street hall here. This is really bad. Ooh. He'll let all this resolve. He's so got if he's got recall. a recall, this is pretty good for him. Yeah, he does. There it is. Bam. That's well, a lot of damage. And it's vile. His vials, uh... Oh, well, yeah, he can vial at end of turn and the beginning of turn. Nope. Does he have something? No. See, so he's on 12 life, and he's going to take another 5 right here. Somebody is apparently very bad at your house, Josh. Yep. My puppy. Okay. I would say this is very bad for Planet Walls. Okay, it's okay. If there's a counter spell for Calavera. Well, if there's a counter spell, it's he can over. put it away. Well, Planet Walls really can't use this ancient tomb. Unless he's feeling suicidal. Okay, that's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, uh, well, he's using it. He's going for something big here. Precursor Golem. Wow, what a daze ever be devastating right here. That would do it. But if this resolves, and it does, that's pretty big play for Planet Walls. Okay. Is there another Hercules? He's got a couple of them. Nope. Oh, 
this could get interesting then. Uh, I don't think it could get interesting. I would say it is interesting. I don't know. Wallace has pushed himself back into this game. And it's about to explode here. Well, nine power for five mana can do that for you. Yeah, this is really bad for Calavera here. Unless if he doesn't have that Hercules recall, and I would suspect he doesn't, otherwise he would have used it and killed him last turn. There's the the secret tech. Abattoir Ghoul. Okay. <laughs> Abattoir Ghoul. Well, that's a good pick. Calavera has just taken it. Suddenly, Calavera's knocking on death's door. Jeez, what a swing, eh? That was just... Precursor Gotham is a beast. Especially against a deck without uh, targeted removal. So Cal is saying, can I get lucky and hit the Hercules Recall here? That would be the top deck of the century if he did. And if he didn't, that's the end of his tournament. So this doesn't look good. I'll finish your sentence for you there. <laughs> yeah. For Calavera. There's no combination of guys he can block here to live and power he can keep on the board to actually allow him to draw another time to try and kill him with it. Yeah, he's just dead. He's just dead. Unless he's decided he wanted to play possum with that Hercules recall and just blow him out. Which, of course, we both know not to be the case. Do we? Well, this is not a safe presumption, having seen Calavera's statement there and the fact that he could have just killed him a turn ago had he had it. Unless he's really mean. Yeah. I think... This, this is a lethal attack, if you're asking me. Calavera's got the mute of ult up, so. And he's just wiped his board out. And that's game. Looks like Planet Walls is moving on to the top four. Well done to both guys. And good luck in the top four planet balls. Well played, Calavera. Thanks Congrats for watching, everybody. You. Thank you, and see you soon.